it's uh, October 29th, 2018, and um, I'm always trying to find plants uh, out in the wild or fruits that have fallen off trees. And here, as you can see, is a grapefruit. So, uh, it's, it's a pretty big grapefruit. These grapefruits, I'm not exactly sure what type it is because they're all kinds of grapefruits. But uh, it rolled from the opposite side of the road into this mud puddle here. It's kind of gross. It's got mud all over it. It's got that baby snail crawling on it. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Um, I'm not going to eat this at all. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to take the seeds out and try to grow it. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this home and uh, we'll cut it open and uh, see what the seeds look like. I'll show you all this uh, when we get home. All right guys, so here we have it. We have our grapefruit back home. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it down because it's pretty muddy still. I'll try and get this done right so that the grapefruit doesn't go flying all over the place when we cut through it. All right, I've cut down the middle. So we'll just kind of cut carefully. There you go, it popped open. Exactly what we didn't want to happen. I guess we can go ahead and clean it up. I'm gonna go ahead and take all the seeds out of here. I will be setting the camera down for this one. There we have it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be open, opening these seed pods up today because it's starting to get dark. So we'll go ahead and start up again tomorrow and I'll open up uh, some of these seed pods, if not all of them, that way we, we can grow them all in one pot. All right. Uh, so much for doing it the next day um, It's been five months now today is April 18th 2019 and I found out that the fruit that I had um, is uh, It is a type of grapefruit um, But it is most commonly referred to as the pomelo um, Not necessarily eaten the same way as a grapefruit um, Actually, it's it's quite different Here are the seeds that um, I had taken out of that uh, pomelo five months ago. So it was just sitting in this bowl. Um, I had it set right on the side of the house. So it looks like uh, these pomelo seeds are well, you know, um, long gone. Uh, I'm not quite sure if, you know, they're salvageable, but uh, I'm not going to try to do anything with them. I might just toss them. I did pick up another pomelo um, down on the same road that I had picked up the first one uh, at the beginning of this video. The folks who own it probably just don't care too much for um you know the fruit because pomelos actually do give off a lot of fruit um so i guess every now and then one will come rolling down the road and just get you know left there on the side of the road so i did pick up another one which was uh not too long ago actually it's probably about a month and a half maybe two months ago and i brought it home and i had uh i'd set it here um in the garden but i didn't get a chance to get to it once again there it is right there as you can see the fruit beneath it has totally just um just totally decomposed you know rotted away and uh right there are two little pomelo plants that have come up we have two right here which are perfect so i'm going to dig these up and i'm going to set them in a pot and uh, allow them to grow inside the pot where I can kind of control um, its growth and uh, and where it is. I just wanted to show you guys just how cool it is that these plants just, you know, take off on their own. Uh, as you can see here, it looks like these two plants are competing for nutrients or maybe even space. And uh, this taller one here is definitely beating the smaller one to the punch. But I can, I'm going to try and see if I can save both of them. Uh, one pomelo plant is all I'm gonna need, but uh, why not have two just in case something happens? All right, guys, so it's May 22nd, and it's uh, it's been a month since I said I was going to get this uh, pomelo out of the ground. Um, well, these two pomelos out of the ground. Um, I've been sitting here watering it down so that I can uh, loosen the soil around it 
um, so I can uh, extract it without harming it um, too badly. So hopefully we can get these out of the ground safely um, without damaging the roots and into their own pots. So I'm gonna continue to water it down here and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the shovel and um, get it out of the ground there. All right guys, so as you can see here, we have the two pomelo plants and it looks like right here, we had some more of them that didn't quite make it. And here we have them, the pomelos. You can see there, there's worms and everything that's good for these plants. And this is why they're able to survive so much better um, without human interference. And um, hopefully I can be just as good to them as, uh, as the earth is itself. So we'll go ahead and separate this root ball here and um, get these plants in their own separate containers. You can see right there, there's, there's an earthworm. He's just like going crazy because he's wondering where the dirt is beneath him. I'm loosening this root ball here so I can separate these two palmillo plants and uh, plant them in their own containers. So we're going to go ahead and get the hose here, water it down. And there we have it, our two pomelo plants. And I'm gonna go ahead and pot them and we'll pick back up after I've uh, got them in their own pots. All right guys, so there it is. We've got our palmillos planted in their own pots. Um, here they are in the location where we originally took them out of. And I think I'm gonna leave them here for now. Um, sorry about the noise. Neighbor is um, edging her lawn, so i um, speaking a little louder so you guys can hear me. Uh, but like I said, this is where we originally had the palmellos and seem to be have working out perfectly fine here in this spot. So we'll leave them here and um, we'll come back maybe within a couple of months or if something significant happens before then.